Sometimes when using Seesaw, we would like to have a template already prepared for the students to draw or type over. And one easy way to accomplish this is to create the template in Google Slides. So I'm going to show you how to do that. We're going to start by going into our Google Drive, clicking on New and Google Slides to open up a new slides presentation. It's a good idea to go ahead and title your presentation so that that helps you keep it organized inside your Google Drive. One tip when you open up a new slides presentation, they normally give you these extra text boxes that you may or may not need. So if you click on it and when the cursor turns to a cross, then you can click on the box and delete that text box. Now for this template, we're going to ask the students to use some words from a text box and um, to use those words in a story that consists of two to three sentences. So we're going to create a text box with the instructions and we can move it up to the top where we want it to be. And now we're going to take and select our text and change it to the size that we want it to be. Now let's add a text box and type in all the words that we want our students to use in the course of the story. Now let's create a box around our text box. We're going to go to Shapes and choose a box format and draw the box by clicking and dragging. And when we do this, it is kind of covering up, so we're going to change it to um, a different color. We're going to change the border color and the border width to make the border a little bit thicker. Now it's still covering up our text, so we're going to go to Arrange and Order and send it to the back. And now our uh, text is on top of our box. Now let's draw another box for the kids to be able to type or to draw in. So again, we're going to change the color and the uh, border color and the border weight to make it a little thicker. And now we have our uh, response box. Now let's spice it up a little bit by inserting a picture. We can search the web and when we search the web we don't have to go out to Google and find something and, and save it and then put it in here. We can grab it right from uh, that search box and drag it in. That leaves it to be uh, copyright free and ready to use. So we're going to put a little barn over here since this is all farm themed and size it and adjust it the way we want it to be and then we can copy and paste another one on the other side. And now we've got our finished template for the kids to use to write their story. So we're going to go to File and Download As and we're going to choose a JPEG, which is just a regular picture. And that's going to download this template to our computer. And there's our finished product. We'll now upload that into Seesaw.